Hey, what's up everybody? This is John from Magic Tech Review. So today I'm going to be doing a something a little different on the channel than I'm used to. I'm doing a response video. So what happens when you do a response video? Um, basically, you know, you disagree with somebody else's opinion and you kind of, uh, you know, or you don't have to disagree, but you can also want to add to the point or whatnot. So this is something that used to be part of YouTube, but they kind of took it away. So I'm kind of doing it, uh, you know what I'm saying, just doing a response video. So uh, YouTuber Jason Ganey put out a video talking about Nintendo Switch, a.k.a. Epic Fail. So um, I figured I'd weigh in on some of his points that he made in his video. So basically, Nintendo, you know, from the start, as we all know, uh, basically saved video game from the crash uh, from when they first started. So Nintendo used to always be a toy manufacturing company, but they then turned to video games. Uh, so the Nintendo was basically, you know, a wild, wild success. And what they did, they innovated with a lot of features and functions of the Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, namely saving game states. You never used to be able to save your games on older platforms. Um, you know, the D-pad that they had, that they had invented, actually. So without Nintendo right now, uh, on your Xbox, PlayStation, or anything you play right now, you would not really have a D-pad. Uh, you know, you might have some other form of thing on there. So Nintendo basically, you know, with their innovation, with their uh, fresh new idea of uh, came in and basically saved the industry at that point in time. Uh, before it used to be just shitty games, all types of um, different companies just putting out products on system after system after system and they were just all the same or all not really good. So Nintendo, you know what I'm saying, they, they did that. So you can't take that away from Nintendo. That's what they did. That's what history is. All right. So moving on to my second point, or moving on to Super Nintendo, actually. What did they do Super? What did they do with Super Nintendo? Well, they bring in new features. They bring in new functions. They put shoulder buttons on there. Uh, you know, no other company or no other controller had shoulder buttons yet. So they put on shoulder buttons, and that was a big uh, thing for the industry. So now you can have buttons on the top of your controllers as well as the... Uh, regular, you know, as, as, long, as well as the ones on the face. So Super Nintendo, again, uh, innovated with that. All right. So, you know, people are talking about, oh, everybody just wants a system, a regular system, blah, 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 blah. Well, Nintendo has never been about that and never will be. Uh, let's take the Nintendo 64, okay? So everybody else was doing their, doing their thing. And what did Nintendo 64 do? They came out with analog sticks, analog sticks. And the rumble pack feature so before then there was no analog stick and there was no rumble pack feature there was no rumbling and controls so that was a first for Nintendo and then they also came out with the cards to uh, save memory so anyways that that are the uh, you know features and functions and new things for Nintendo so far so the company has always just innovative innovated you know what I'm saying and sometimes it sometimes it doesn't it doesn't do so well. Sometimes it's not the best thing in the world, you know what I'm saying? But usually they come out with something really, really good and really cool um, that peop that you know people can experience something new and exciting, not just the same old games. On you know what I'm saying? If everybody just wants the same Xbox, if you want to play an Xbox game, just buy an Xbox, get it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to play a PlayStation game for a certain game, get the PlayStation, play that. You know what I'm saying? Nintendo has never been about that. Um, they're not the most graphically intense company, but they do innovate a lot. So here we come with the GameCube. Okay, the GameCube, yeah, that was a little bit more powerful. Didn't really sell well, didn't really have any standout features. Uh, they just kind of did what everybody else was doing at that point. And you know what I'm saying? The GameCube eh, did okay. It got some third-party support, but it really wasn't nothing to, nothing big to speak about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they did have the dual analog sticks on that one, though. So there you go. GameCube came out with the dual analog sticks. One of the most comfortable controllers uh, ever, pretty much, that people can say. Even the WaveBird, the WaveBird, which is a Bluetooth controller for that thing. Everybody loved that thing. Then we come to the Wii. So the Wii 
um, motion controls. Man, that thing was a breakout hit. Everybody wanted it. Nobody can find it. And what did Nintendo do again? Did they go with the highest specs and the biggest processor? No. They innovated. They used a motion control system where everybody else was, you know, and everybody else tried to emulate them, you know, even PlayStation with the PlayStation Move. You know, they saw that they saw that wild success and they wanted to emulate it. So that's what they did. PlayStation Move. So, you know, they tried to copy it. Then we had the Wii U. Okay, now the Wii U, that was supposed to be a second screen experience. But it really didn't it really didn't take off as, as Nintendo thought it would, so. Here we go. Did I lose? Alright, so the Wii U with their second screen second screen experience. And like I said, some things do well, some things don't. You know what I'm saying? They're not always gonna hit a hole in one or you know always hit a home run but they are going to innovate you know what i'm saying and they that's their that's their plan they're just innovative uh, an innovative company so with the nintendo switch i believe that thing is going to be awesome it's not going to be an epic fail um i think i believe all these publishers they're going to want to bring their their games to that system because not only can you play it at home but now you could just stick the controllers on and take it Take it with you. You know what I'm saying? You don't even need to really mess with those controllers if you don't want to. Just get the pro controller, and now there you are. You know what I'm saying? Let's say, you know, let's say, uh, you know, somebody in your family wants to use the TV. Oh, well, you just pick up the system, put, and, you know, use the controllers, and there. Bam. You know what I'm saying? The TV is not being used anymore, you know? Or let's say you got to go somewhere, but you still want to have your Nintendo system with you. You bring your Nintendo system with you. Easy. Um, and it's going to bring multiplayer uh, experiences yeah the controllers are a little small and you know what I'm saying yeah they're a little dinky on the sides but now if you have that thing with you you can literally play with anybody anywhere at any time and that's innovative and that's gonna change the industry and I bet you I bet you that a lot of these companies are gonna try to emulate the same success just as they did with the Wii and the Super Nintendo the 64 the GameCube and everything else guys Nintendo leads the pack when it comes to innovation. Innovation, And even Sony's president has said that before to, to Nintendo, that without Nintendo bringing in new players, new experiences, new ways to play, the industry wouldn't be where it is right now. So to say that Nintendo Switch is an epic fail without the system even coming out yet, without even getting hand time, hands on time with it, it's just that opinion is an epic fail to me. Okay, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but then again, you know, we can make counter arguments and everybody's entitled to have their counter argument as well, and this is what this is. And yes, everybody knows that I'm a big Nintendo fan, and it is what it is. But anyways, thank you, uh, thank you everybody for listening to this little uh, response video from me. Thank you, Jason Ganey, for making your YouTube video, and thank you for everybody for your time for listening to me as well. Uh, this has been John from Magic Tech Review. Uh, hopefully, when Nintendo Switch comes out, we will see uh, which opinion is right and how it turns out. But, I mean, just think of it right now, guys. Nintendo demands, or any time a Nintendo system comes out, typically, or a Nintendo product, everybody's all over it. Pokemon Go, perfect example. That thing was crazy hot this summer. Everybody needed that system. Everybody or everybody wanted that app. You know what I'm saying? I would get calls upon calls upon calls about Pokemon Go. How can it how can it work on my phone? Can I use it with my phone? Now we have the classic Nintendo Mini or the classic Nintendo Entertainment System. And that thing right now sold out everywhere. It's on eBay for thousands of dollars. So Nintendo again, yet again, is hitting a home run. So we'll see you guys what happens with the Nintendo Switch. And love you guys as always, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.